What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Life with Julio. Oh, this is not a food review channel. Whatever. I'm sick. I have been sick for like the last uh, five or six days. I've been cooped up in the house. And now I kind of just said, screw it. I'm going to go out and sit in the truck and make a video. And here we are. It's actually a little warm in here. Let me crack the windows. All right, I decided to go to Burger King and grab a few things. I really was looking forward to uh, like some specialty items from their menu, like the patty melt or something. Mostly the patty melt that was out last month. I guess none of the Burger Kings where I live have them anymore, and I couldn't find it on the Burger King online menu to order. So I'm just going to eat whatever I got. So I got a Rodeo burger. My buddy recommended that. Thank you, Ricky. I got a Texas Double Whopper because I'm obsessed with the state of Texas. For anybody who knows me personally, you guys know I talk about that a lot. Even though I don't live there. And I got their new chicken wrap. That everybody, guys like uh, Voice Johnson voiceovers, uh, S. Johnson voiceovers, bashes McDonald's on for not having. So you know what? Since this is already getting unwrapped, I'm going to start with the chicken wrap. Uh, I got their can't remember what this one's called there's no receipt so this one's their this one's like their spicy bk wrap here's what you got here's what it looks like let's open it up a little bit and take and the lettuce is just fuck, just fucking falling out i just cursed i'm no longer a friend, kids friendly video here's what we got piece of chicken, some tomatoes, some lettuce, uh, chicken looks crispy, there's a little mayonnaise and stuff in there, so let's, uh, let's wrap it back up and eat it, don't want it to fall out, I think I got it close to how it was, hmm, You know what? This isn't half bad. It's actually pretty good. I'm actually surprised. The chicken is juicy, although it is a little small. It's very crispy. It's got a good black pepper taste to it. Uh, it almost tastes like uh, like a Nashville hot chicken tender or something like. It's like it tastes like they cooked it like in a chili oil. Uh, I like this. This is actually pretty good. Maybe my taste buds are a little out of whack because I've been sick the last six days, but this tastes pretty good. Burger King, good job. Mm hmm. The tortilla's not bad. I mean, it's, you know, it's a Burger King tortilla. You probably just heat it up and then, you know, slap it all together, but I'd, I'd give this like a. Like a good, I'd give this like a 7.1 out of 10. It's not bad. And it's cheap too. I think it's like two, what? $3. $3. Oh shit. Okay. This costs more than the rodeo burger. But it's not bad. I actually do like it. The chicken, like I said, it's a little spicy. Uh, it's a little tangy. The chicken's not dry on the inside. It's crispy. The tomato and lettuce is what they use for the burgers, so, you know, no complaints there. Uh, yeah, not bad. Mm. Wait a minute. Towards the end there on the chicken piece. Tastes like I'm biting through some chicken tendons, so. Other than that, not bad. Also got Burger King's fries, and I like Burger King's fries. They're a little bit bigger than McDonald's. They're not as thin, but they're still, you know, not bad in size. Mm. Fluffy on the inside. Could be a little crispier on the outside.
and maybe a little more salt. Um, yeah, a little more salt, they're kind of plain. But I do enjoy how fluffy they are. So, not bad. Good job working on the fries, they're decent. As far as fast food fries goes, I still think McDonald's are some of the best. It's definitely better than In-N-Out. I'll give these like a... I'll give the fries a... I'll give them a 7.8. They're up there. All right, here we go. We got a little tiny... This is my friend Ricky recommended. The Rodeo Burger. And if it looks like I'm eating fast, guys, I'll be honest, I'm pretty hungry because I haven't ate much the last few days. So, Rodeo Burger is pretty plain. It's just... Uh, piece of meat barbecue sauce onion rings and and the bread and there's nothing under the patties so yo what the fuck yo look at this for a second excuse me for a second i'm thinking like spongebob and i'm thinking that looks like the tentacles on squidward's hands and feet what the hell is that I'm kind of scared to bite into this now <laughs> shit I don't know if this is flame broiled or not, damn it. I'm sure in the past I've had better versions of this burger, like bigger ones that weren't on the value menu, but for $2.29, yeah, whatever. The onion rings are soggy. Can't really taste them at all. You can't taste the breading that much or taste the onion that much. The meat tastes very plain. It's dry, whatever. The bread, you know, tastes like cheap hamburger bun bread. But the barbecue sauce in this gives it I guess it's what makes this, so it gives it some good flavor, a little, a little sweetness, not really anything spicy to it. I'll, I'll give this burger a 5 out of 10, straight up. It's, it's not, this isn't something I would crave. I tried it as my buddy recommended it, and it's not bad, like I said. When you're just hungry, you just want something like in a heartbeat, hey, under 3 bucks, go for it. Mm. I got a Dr. Pepper to wash it down with. Mix the vanilla with the... Mix the vanilla Dr. Pepper with raspberry Dr. Pepper. I didn't know they had raspberry Dr. Pepper, but I did now. I'm glad I ordered some fries with the Texas Whopper just because uh, I would have nothing to get rid of the flavor of the burger other than like the Dr. Pepper. And I'm trying to get that flavor out before I bite into the into the Double Texas Whopper. All right, let's go. By the way, how are you guys doing? Tell me in the comments below. All right, now this son of a bitch is heavy, and it it really is heavy and it's big. Now this, the meat looks better seasoned. It doesn't have those weird little tentacle spots that I just saw. Uh, nothing on the bottom of the bun. Top of the bun, you got your tomato, you got your cheese, you got some lettuce in there, some pickles, uh, some bacon that can hardly see. It's like really thin. I don't know how well the camera catches that. And you got your mustard tossed in, and I think those are jalapenos, so let's, let's take a bite. I think we can all agree that Whoppers, it doesn't matter what Whopper you order, but they all have like a, a similar flavor to the meat that it doesn't inspire 
much about American cuisine. I don't know if that's saying much, but. It just tastes like it's missing something. Damn it, didn't give me any napkins. Oh, great. Oh, I got a towel I can use right there on the seat. Uh, bread is fine. You know, it's not bad. It's kind of soft and soggy on the bottom from the meat. Uh, the top tastes cool. You know, tastes all right. It's got the little sesame seeds on the top of the bun. It's got lettuce. It's got your, uh, it's got some jalapenos in there. It's got some jalapenos, some pickles. You can see all that mustard. They really threw in a shit ton of mustard. And there's a bunch of onions in there too. Uh, this isn't bad. Uh, I'm halfway through it and I can say I'd give this, uh, you know what? I'll be generous actually, because I do like this. It's There's a few things I wish were better, but and I might be saying this, I haven't had a, I haven't had a decent meal in the last uh, five or six days. I've, I've been eating, just not, nothing inspiring. I've been too lazy to cook just because of how tired I've been, but I'll give this like I'll give this like an eight. Uh, I definitely would order it again. Let me just order a regular Whopper or something. You get a, lo a lot of meat out of this guy, so hey, why not? Oh yeah, those are pickled jalapenos, and they actually give you a nice little spice, a good little kick. Oh yeah, there we go. Check it out, all those jalapenos. Nice little bit of heat, a little spice. I can feel it clearing out my sinuses. Something that I needed. Not bad. Well. I'm sucking the fucking bottom of the cup here. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't got much else to say about this. Uh, I feel like Burger King is one of those places that doesn't get a lot of love lately. I can kind of see why their menu and their stuff is kind of lackluster a bit. Uh, and their specialty items, they don't come out long enough for people, I think, to really enjoy them. And I spent a total of $21, which isn't bad. I mean, I got a pretty good-sized burger here. I got my fries, I got my drink, and I got those two other items so I could have really just spent six dollars and been cool, but I wanted to try something a little extra. But I do think that this alone was like fourteen dollars is kind of high, especially for a small size meal. Uh, but hey, that's the way the economy is right now. That's the way everything's going. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I would definitely recommend you guys go to Bird King. I don't know if they're going to be around forever. I know they're kind of like trying to cut back on their business a bit. So enjoy them while they're out here, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.